Oh my god, I can't believe I just lost that game of Fortnite. My friend got beamed and wait, why is Craig not there? That's weird. Craig, are you here? Hello. <laughs> not in the kitchen. Well, normally he would be if he wasn't in his chair all day. Oh, cool. He's left all of his stuff as well. Uh, magnetron gun. Um, bit aggressive, Craig. Next. Cutting steel with LEDs. Hmm, well, I suppose they are kind of like a laser diode. But nope, leave that to him. Magnetism isn't real. Uh, hello. What on an earth is this then? Dumbass. Safe isolation. Wait, what? Are electricians still not doing this? Are they dumb? They could die right for the sake of someone's life fitting. Um, alright, let me do a simple version so you can all follow it. And remember, with old wiring, you can't possibly know what someone else has done before. So you always gotta check what you're about to touch. Can't believe I'm having to tell you guys and girls and bays. <laughs> Proofing unit lock GS38 voltage indicator. Then step one, let everyone know what is about to happen. Because if you turned off my PS4 in the middle of a Fortnite game, you'd probably see Mega Rage. And there are probably other good reasons too. Step two, turn off the circuit. You need to work on or turn off the local isolation point and lock off PREF with a warning label. Step 3. Check voltage indicator with proving the unit. Step 4. Check terminals of the electrical point between live to CPC, live to neutral, neutral to CPC. Step 5. Check the voltage indicator wasn't broken during the test by using the proving unit again. Lastly, if you're risking your life for Miss Doggins light, fitting all sockets, then I'm not sure you were right in the brain space, you know? I'd be gutted if Craig died at work. I need his bank account for my V-Bucks. Think of the kids, please. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you guys, have a nice day. I'll be watching you if you don't give me V-Bucks. <laughs>